Greetings family in Christ. For today's devotion let us turn to Romans chapter 2 verses 25 to 29. Romans chapter 2 verses 25 to 29. It says for circumcision is indeed profitable if you keep the law. But if you are a breaker of the law, your circumcision has become uncircumcision. Therefore, if an uncircumcised man keeps the righteous requirements of the law, will not his uncircumcision be counted as circumcision? And will not the physically uncircumcised, if he fulfills the law, judge you who, even with your written code and circumcision, are a transgressor of the law? For he is not a Jew who is one outwardly, nor is circumcision that which is outward in the flesh. But he is a Jew who is a one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart, in the spirit, not in the letter, whose praise is not from men, but from God. Now circumcision was given as an outward sign to show that they were the Lord's people. And all through the Bible, people follow this law. But circumcision was not given as a manner to be saved. Circumcision cannot save anyone's soul any more than water baptism. Like baptism, circumcision was an outward sign and obedience to the word of God. Here in Romans, the Apostle Paul makes it clear that it is not the outward obedience that makes us right with God, but rather it is the inward obedience. Now, inward obedience will manifest itself in our outward actions. In fact, our inward obedience must be manifest in our outward actions. But here it clearly says that our outward acts of obedience means nothing without the inward obedience of the heart. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5, verses 27 to 28, You have heard that it is said, It was said to those of old, You shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, that whoever looks at a woman to lust for her, has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Jesus here clearly tells us, that it is the inward obedience of our hearts, that matters far more than our outward actions. We can walk perfectly, do everything right, obey the law outwardly in our lives where other people can see it. But if we do not walk perfectly, do everything right and obey the law in our hearts, when no one can see except God, we are in fact not obeying the law. In 1 Samuel chapter 16 and verse 7, it says, For the law does not see as man sees. For man looks at the outward appearance but the Lord looks at the heart. You see, other people can judge us by what they see and therefore it is quite easy to fool people because we can act the part in front of others. But when it comes to God, we cannot fool Him by by our outward actions because He sees our heart. He sees everything that nobody else can. There's a quote that says, The true test of a man's character is what he does when no one is watching. Well, the thing is that God is always watching. Others may not see everything we do, but God does. Others may not know what we do, think or feel in our heart where they cannot see, but God does. See, we can choose what others see of us, but we cannot choose what God sees of us. God sees everything that we are. Just because someone lives a life that is seemingly righteous and godly where others can see, does not mean that they are right with God. It is the inward life that must be righteous and godly. Ultimately, we should be far less concerned about what others think of us and be far more concerned about what God knows of us. We should pay far more attention to who we are in our hearts before the Lord rather than what we do before others to look like Christians. And if our inward lives are right with God, then that will naturally just flow out into our outward actions 
and bring God the glory. Let us close in prayer. Lord, we pray that we may be more aware of your watchful eye upon our hearts. May we live before you with our hearts following wholly after you and loving you. And then may our actions be the outward sign of our relationship with you. Lord, we desire for our hearts to be fully surrendered to you. We want to obey you with everything in our hearts and our minds. We want to truly love you. We do not just want to seem like we love you or appear as Christians or as your followers or as your children. We truly want to be your children in our hearts. Lord, we pray all of these things in the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen.